Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Mike. I've been a music producer for over 15 years, and now I make videos about music production to share what I've learned with you. So if you're here now, you're curious how auto-tune works. Well, auto-tune is guessing, and it's very smart, but sometimes it gets it wrong. So what do we do then? Well, first, let's just start by increasing our chances of auto-tune getting the notes right by setting the key of the song. This reduces the amount of notes and only snaps to the ones in the key of your song, which is hopefully what your singer was aiming for anyway. Now, if a few notes here and there are still landing wrong, we could take another instance of Auto-Tune, this time as an Audio Suite plugin, and manually correct that note on the clip level. We'll do this in graph mode so that we have manual control of each of the notes, and we're just gonna nudge the whole note either up or down so that we keep it natural. Now, you don't wanna overtune it, we just wanna nudge it closer so that the real-time Auto-Tune plugin snaps it to the right note. So for example, I have a phrase here where when the vocalist hits this note at the top, he is a little bit closer to a D sharp than he is to an E. Now, I know he should be hitting an E, but Autotune doesn't know that. Autotune can only go by snapping the notes that you're closest to. So we've got to nudge that note a little bit closer to the note we want it to snap to, which in this case is an E. So let's scoot this one over here. This is the real time instance of Autotune, the one that's right here on our track. And I'm going to open up an audio suite instance of Autotune. We'll switch over to graph mode and we'll scan this phrase in. We're gonna click track pitch and we'll hit the little play icon. And we can see that it's closest and kind of right in the center here of this D sharp. I'm gonna click create notes from audio and that's gonna allow us to just nudge this whole phrase straight up. Let's render that and we'll close the audio suite plugin and let's listen back through this real time auto tune. And Give a quick before and after. And I'm lonely, lately, and I'm lonely, lately. And that's what we're going for. Now, what if you have a cool section in your song where the key changes? Well, Autotune is going to get that wrong because it's trying to keep all of those notes contained within the key of your song. For this, we're gonna have to do some automation and briefly set Autotune to the new key. Let's pop over to graph mode and I'll scan this note in. We can see the singer was going for an F. Now we're in F sharp minor. So in that key, there is no F. So Auto-Tune is snapping that back down to an E. Leaving graph mode, let's go over here and we can open up the advanced tab and it'll show you all of the notes within the selected key. And that's where we can see that there isn't an F. There's F sharp and there's E. So Auto-Tune is moving that incorrectly. So we need to temporarily shift to a key that includes F. Now I'm working in Pro Tools, so hopefully the process is similar in other DAWs. Let's open up the plugin automation parameters and enable key and scale. And so now we can automate the key up by one right on the track. And I'll do it right here on this transition. Uh, and we'll move that up to the key of G. Back in Auto-Tune, we can see does include an F natural. And if we play that back, it should snap correctly. And let's hear that one more time. This is before making the adjustment to the key of G. And after. If you're unsure of the key, another option is just to automate the scale to chromatic, which will temporarily open up all of the notes. It's a bit more of a catch-all, and so hopefully your singer's close enough that it snaps correctly in chromatic mode. But if not, we know we can always use the method we talked about earlier by snapping it into place manually and nudging auto-tune in the right direction. So those are a couple quick ways to set auto-tune up for success and get your notes landing correctly. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.